with Matthew and Georgia, and they are the founders from Go Rescue Pet Adoption Center. Welcome to Living 757. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I know you have a unique story. Because, <laughs> Very. <laughs> yes, and you lost everything in 2011, but the yes. love for your animals create this beautiful place. Yes. Just walk me through that. Well, in 2011, we are not the exception. A lot of people ended up losing everything, and we we lost our home, we lost everything, and that left our, our dogs. I've been doing rescue for 15 years, and we had a lot of dogs that hadn't found their homes yet that were not considered highly adoptable at other places. Well, that left them with nowhere to go. After finding that we had no other options, we, we created that place. So when you start creating the rescue center, why you want to do it like this? Like It looks like a home, like a real house. When we first started talking about how we were going to create this shelter, we decided that there's one environment that they do best in, and that's a, a home-like environment. So we try to recreate as much of a home-like environment as possible. How people feel when they walk inside and they see like, a, this is a house. They stop. They're confused. Yes. <laughs> they, they stop and they're confused. And, and then they realize, oh my gosh, this is a great environment. And they're relaxed. So when they meet the dogs, it really creates a more realistic environment for them in that meeting. Because we take dogs that are from rural areas that have never been in a home before. So then if they just sit in a kennel and then they get adopted and go into a home for the first time in their life, a lot of times the adoption fails. And then you have dogs like Oreo. He was owner surrendered um, to a local shelter and he did so badly there that he was never gonna be put on the adoption Aww. floor. Nobody could touch this dog. <laughs> so they asked for the help of a local um, humane society and they said that they wanted to, to take him and give him a chance and it went just as badly. <laughs> so they asked us to take him and we did. And the next day, he wasn't magically better, but <laughs> I was able to pick him up, I was able to touch him, I was able to get his harness off, and mm -hmm. then his true personality starts coming out. It's not that he was ever a bad dog, but he went into um, fight mode. You know, they either fight or flight, and he chose, he's a terrier, so they're gonna fight. <laughs> exactly. they're, they're tenacious. And um, so that's the only side of his personality that anybody was seeing, and is not considered adoptable. Do you think at that, point. that the environment to be in a home versus a shelter would, you know, that help him also? With Absolutely, the because it, it allowed so him too. to just decompress uh -huh. and not feel like he had to be on guard all the time. Matthew, walk me a little bit through the adoption process. Well, initially, it's a phone call. We, okay. we always ask people to call because what Georgia's strong point is is listening to your personal situation, okay. your family dynamics. Do you have other animals? And from that, she knows all of our dogs very well, which makes this environment unique. I know. <laughs> because she does know their personalities. And knowing that is the key to proper replacement, you know, for the, for the animal. So that's the first step. And then she'll invite them out uh, to meet a dog that, that she has in mind. And it's a process of coming in and, and you know, sitting in this great space and relaxing mm -hmm. and, and having conversations and, and really getting to know the dogs. And as long as that takes, it takes. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people are here for an hour, sometimes two just relaxing, having conversation, letting the dogs move around and, and see how they interact. And we show you the dogs that might work for you. We're not gonna walk you through the kennels if you're looking at 25 dogs that are not good for your home. So we take out the ones that might be a possibility for you so you can meet each one individually in a normal setting so you can you can see how they, how they might be in your home. So how can people contact you? Well, we've got uh, multiple ways. Okay. Uh, one, we, we do have Facebook. Obviously, that's one of our biggest connections to the community. Um, and that's Go Rescue Pet Adoption Center. And then we've also got a website, which is GoRescueDogs.com. Um, and we've got phone number and Instagram. So there's a number of ways. It, all you do is come on Facebook and you can follow from there. Well, thank you so much, Georgia and Matthew. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.